Hello everyone. I am so grateful you made your way back to my channel. It's Tuesday night, so you're here for another bedtime story. Tonight's Tucked In Tuesday is Elbow Grease, written by John Cena. I am so excited to read this story because it has a great lesson behind it. And if you make it all the way to the end, I would love for you to write in the comments below of what you think the lesson was. So let's begin. We have our little blue guy, elbow grease. Green is flash. Orange is pinball. Yellow is tank. And red is crash. Hee <laughs> hee, that tickles. Come on, Mo, the story's starting. Technically, at this point, the story has already started. What story? Last one there is a hunk of junk. Elbow Grease was the smallest truck in the demolition derby, but he never let that bother him. Why should I? His brother Tank was tougher. His brother Flash was faster. His brother Pinball was smarter. His brother Crash was braver. Okay, we get the point. What Elbow Grease had was gumption. You got that right, Buster. He always tried his best and never ever gave up. Ouch. Ah! Oops. Owie. At night, Mel the mechanic plugged in Elbow Grease to charge while the other truck slept outside. Sometimes his brothers teased him for being different. He's got a plug. He's stuck to the wall. He's got a lithium ion battery which requires an external power source for daily recharging. Ha ha ha, he's got a plug. Have fun in the rain, you jello piece. Elbow Grease didn't get upset. He was glad to be inside especially during the storms. Then one night, Mel brought home a poster. Someday, I'm gonna be on that poster. <laughs> the brothers laughed. You're too slow. You're too small. Your technique and experience are insufficient to complete at a professional level. You're to, um, don't hurt yourself, Tank. That made Elbow Grease mad. So mad that he zoomed off to the Grand Prix by himself to prove his brothers wrong. I'll show those jalopies what I can really do. In the morning, Elbow Grease was exhausted. He had been driving all night without a charge. But when he arrived at the Grand Prix, he felt his circuit surge with excitement. He quickly rolled onto the track and snuck into position behind the monster trucks at the starting line. The race was about to begin. On your mark, get set, go! The other trucks were bigger. The other trucks were faster. The other trucks had more experience and better technique. But Elbow Grease wouldn't quit. Never give up. He fell behind, but he kept on trucking. Oof. He got covered in mud, but he kept on rolling. Yuck. He got bashed and smashed and even caught on fire a little bit. But still, he kept on going. Owie, cause owie. Halfway through the race, it started pouring rain. Thunder rumbled, lightning flashed. All of a sudden, Elbow Grease's engine shut down. His battery was completely dead. Oh, rust buckets. Elbow Grease was stuck. For the first time, he wondered if his brothers were right. He started to cry. I'm not crying. I'm just 
cold and tired and scared of the lightning. Crackle, crackle, acka, boom, shakalaka. The lightning jolted the battery back to life. Elbow Grease barely had enough charge to keep going, but he didn't give up. He didn't give in. No matter what, he would finish this race, even if he came in last. Mel and Elbow Grease's brothers arrived just in time to see him rattle across the finish line and collapse in a heap. The winner's celebration was already over. <laughs> Look, Bo, most trucks couldn't even make it to the finish line. Just then, the winner of the race rolled by. Well, shift my gears and call me Sally. This kid's got gumption. You boys could learn a lot from him. Crash was shocked. Big Flash was stunned. Wheels? Pinball was intrigued. McGee? Tank was confused. Who? Mel knew that Big Wheels McGee was right. If you only stick with what you're good at, you'll never learn anything. So the next time your problem seems too big or too hard, just remember, a little elbow grease goes a long way. Oops, I'm currently on fire. Ouch! Hustle up and show me some gumption. Ah, you can do it, fellas. The end. What do you mean the end? Haven't you been listening? Never give up. Never quit. Never say the end. Keep on going. Keep on trying. You can do it. <laughs> Wasn't that cute? I'm so proud of John Cena. He did an awesome job writing a cool picture book. I'd love for you to write below and tell me if you knew what the lesson he was trying to teach you behind this story of elbow grease. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you remember that you're cared about and you're important because you're gonna make a difference in this world and you need to remember those things. But first, you gotta get some rest. So I'll check in with you again next Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Miss Robinson, out.